Welcome to our Senior Night Series brought to you by Integrated Services for Behavioral Health. My name is Jay Kamada with Ben Vanderplas and BVP. We're going to have to address the, uh, the elephant in the room because this is a Senior Night video. You have one year of eligibility left. So I got to ask you first because I'm sure our fans are wondering, what are you going to do with that final year? Um, I'm going to give you a Bill Belichick answer. Please do. Uh, we play Akron on Friday. Looking forward to that game. No, nah, but realistically, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Enjoying the season right now, so we'll see. I, I had to ask, I'm sure our fans are wondering. Um, you and I have talked about that in the past as well. We'll see, one day at a time. And yeah. I, I do love that Bill Belichick answer. That was good. But I mean, when you think about your time here, I mean, what does that mean to you, just to be a Bobcat these last, I mean, now five years? Yeah, it's been a long time. Um, it's, it's been a fun ride. Uh, got to meet a lot of great people over the years. Um, a lot of great teammates. I made a lot of really, really close friends here. Uh, people I'm, I'm going to be talking to uh, for the rest of my life. So it's been a fun ride. Obviously, the basketball has been been fun. Made it to the tournament, won a MAC championship. Yes, it's it's been a blessing. No, it's actually going to bring that up. I mean, probably your favorite memories: winning the MAC, winning a game in the NCAA tournament. What is it about those moments that you'll take with you forever? Because I mean, those are things that you cherish, and not a lot of student athletes get to have the experiences that you guys had last year. I think something that I'm going to take with me from last year, especially, is. When we won those games, um, it was it's, it's kind of during a pandemic, so like it was really just us. Uh, like our team was our circle, and just spending the time with the guys after the games, um, just really being with us. Like it was a really close knit group, um, and yeah, just a lot of a lot of fun memories with those guys last year. Well, you mentioned it was just us because you know arenas weren't weren't full. I mean, looking at the stands right now, they're empty, but they haven't been all year. But so, what's that meant to you? The support from Bobcat Nation. Uh, this year has been awesome. Seeing the fans, um, getting like 8,000 people in here a couple times, like it's, it's been crazy. The students have been awesome. The band, like everyone who comes to the games, it's been it's been it's been really fun to see the the community kind of come together and, and support. So a few nights ago, you recorded a triple double in front of your good friend Jason Preston. Uh, you guys have had a, a long-lasting relationship. I mean, he was the last one to, to record a triple-double in this building, too, which is kind of cool that you got he had the old full-circle moment. So um, how special is that moment to, to share that with, with JP? You guys got a nice little hug at the end, too. It was really, really cool. Uh, obviously, he was back for All-Star Weekend, and just the crazy coincidence that that's the game that I was able to make it happen. Um, and obviously, uh, shout-out to my teammates. They got to make shots, and they were, they were hitting them from all over the place. So um, big shout-out to them. Um, but yeah, to have JP in the building, um, sitting right at the end of the bench, yeah, got to do our handshake at the end of the game. Uh, yeah, that was that was really fun. Did you know that um, your first career assist went to him? Really? Did you know that? I did not. I had to go back and, and look, but yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's really cool, actually. All right, so um, my next question: Do you remember your first official game as a Bobcat? Um, so I'm trying to think. Official game? I I remember our exhibition was Rio Grande, maybe. Yes. Is that what, is that what you're referring to? That was the exhibition. Yeah. yeah. So if that's what we're counting as the game, then yes, I, I do remember that. So I didn't count this one, just because exhibition, it's not okay. technical, but uh, Wilberforce. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I remember Wilberforce. Wilberforce. Yeah. yeah, so I don't I don't know if you remember. This is this is when you came in, um, into the game. This is the ESPN feed. Let me just make sure this is turned up, but I'm going to let you watch it and, and just, just react to it for me. 223-pound redshirt freshman. Did not play last year due to a leg injury. Moves very well around the basket. Good perimeter shooter as well. Had a big game in the Rio exhibition game. Had 14 points in 19 minutes against the Red Storm. Uh, he did some great outside shooting. Deion Gatson into the game. Oh, come on, Wilson box out, Ben. What are we doing? Corner three. There we go. There we go. I just remember Gavin Block just throwing it to me in the corner yeah. all the time. Yeah. But yeah, it's crazy to see the haircut, first of all. Yeah. A little bit different there, but. That's a long time ago. I was gonna say I, that that's crazy. I mean, I, I I had to go back and, and look at that one for you. But um, I look at this too. I mean, I had to go back. This is also, this is also you through the years. Oh man! Just just a, a reaction from you. From I mean, look at the hair, right? Yeah. And, and the hair and just the evolution of the hair growth, and and then of course now you have the stash. Yeah. Wow. So my retro sophomore year, that that was a good picture. Uh, the <laughs> next one, I'm not sure what I was thinking with the hair down. I can't remember what I was thinking because I played with it up in the the bun for a while. Yeah, I don't know what that picture, uh, what I was thinking there. But yeah, that is quite the evolution. But uh, what do you want your legacy to be here? What do you want Bobcat fans to remember you for here? I think a big part of it is um, it's the student I was. Um, I took I take my education really, really seriously. So um, I hope uh, people are able to remember me for that a little bit. Um, grab a couple of degrees coming out of here. Uh, 
last year the um, national uh, academic team was a, a cool thing to be a part of. Um, so that's definitely a part of it. And then I just want to be remembered just being a great teammate. Um, just coming out here, just having fun. Uh, there's a lot of times throughout my career, like just looking back at games in the combo, just like having a really, really fun time playing basketball with these guys. And I hope people were able to see that. Um, I hope people can still see that, that I'm just enjoying every day and just having fun playing basketball with my, with my team. You have a camera right there if you want to address Bobcat Nation. What, what, what would you like to say to them right now? Bobcat Nation, uh, it's been quite the ride. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a fun time here in Athens. And we've been through a lot, a lot of ups and downs. Um, still got, still got a, a lot to do, a lot to finish this year, so let's, let's keep it going. But um, this year especially, just wanted to shout you guys out for the support. Um, the students, the community coming together. It's been, it's been really, really fun to see this year. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you.